Welcome to this training video on the spreadsheet application. This will take you through how to set up and use the application. First, download spreadsheet from the website and install the exe file you get onto your TriCaster system. The TriCaster must be running Advanced Edition version 2 software for this application to operate correctly. Once this is installed, you will also find a CSV file that has been placed on the desktop of your TriCaster. This is just a sample file that you can use to test the application out with or update with your own information. I'm going to show you how to build your own from scratch. So once the application is installed, we need to build a CSV of all the information we want to import in. So using a spreadsheet like Excel, we can uh, easily create this information by, first of all, creating a header line on the first row. So uh, I'm just going to name mine here, uh, name, uh, let's say position, and number. Do make sure that uh, when it comes to these fields that you do not duplicate any names uh, between them because these are also going to be used as the data link field names and that will cause problems. After the first line, which has your header information, below that is where you're going to put all your data. So let's just create uh, some people names in here, Kane, Bill, Mary, and uh, Steve, and we'll create uh, some positions for them. And we'll fill them in with some uh, numbers here. Once you've done that, and you can create this with as many columns and rows of information as you need, we need to save this file as a comma separated values file. This is the only file type that the spreadsheet application will import. So under our file menu, we're going to save this. And in Excel, uh, make sure you choose uh, comma uh, delimited as your file types in here. And then we can save this file somewhere. We'll put it on my desktop for now. Make sure the CSV. Uh, um, extension is included, otherwise it will not be imported by the application. And when you do this, it will pop up a message saying that some of the information can't be saved in a CSV. Just hit yes. Uh, CSVs are very basic. They only contain the information. They do not, do not contain formulas or any kind of formatting information, which is what the uh, error message is reporting. Once you've done that, we can then open up the spreadsheet application, and you can do that by typing in the name of your TriCaster system or its IP. Now, if you don't know that, you can find that out by going to your TriCaster and clicking in the uh, upper left-hand corner, there's a little globe, and that will give you the IP. So you can see my system is 192.168.1.79. So we can go into our uh, web browser here and type that in 192.168.1.79 and then slash sheet s-h-e-e-t and this will open up the spreadsheet application when you see that the first thing we need to do is click this little green uh, download button and this will uh, download the uh, file that we've created in excel into here so we'll click on that it's going to open up a web browser and we'll go navigate to where I saved our file, sample. And when you open it up, you're going to see that position, that information show up. Now, uh, across the top, we've got the names of our uh, columns that are taken from that first line of the uh, CSV file. And below that is all the data. And if you click on one of these, you'll see that that information then appears in these fields along the top. Uh, once you're ready to send this data into TriCaster, you click the Send to TriCaster button, and it will push those these uh, fields in as data link fields. And I'll show you in a minute here how you can then set up uh, TriCaster to display them. But just to show a slightly larger uh, spreadsheet of information so you can get a little bit better idea of what this might look like when you fill it in with a bunch of info, uh, let me load up the sample file that comes with it here. And so you can see here a bunch more information listed. Uh, same thing, you click on it to put it up there. Uh, you can type in these fields, and anything you type in there will be sent um, as you see it. Uh, but do realize that this information does not get stored back into the original CSV file or into the data below. So if you do want to have this information updated uh, when you load it, you need to go back into that CSV file and create those changes. So let's say we want to send uh, player 9 here's information in. I'll select that and hit the Send to TriCaster button. Um, you don't really see anything happen on the screen, but it has sent the information over. And by the way, you can also press the uh, F9 key on your keyboard uh, to send that information as well. And now that we've done that, let's go into our TriCaster to receive the information. So here we are uh, in my TriCaster system. You can see I have a title uh, displayed on the screen, but it's just got the generic uh, information in it right now. So let's uh, go edit this title. And you can just click on the gear. Um, 
zoom in so you can see a little better here. And then where it says the uh, the fields you can edit here, you're going to start by typing in uh, for new data link fields. And all data link fields start with a uh, percent sign. So you're going to start with percent. And then if you just type starting uh, the word sheet, S-H-E-E-T, um, all the fields that are sent over are going to start with the name sheet underscore and then they will match the name of the columns that you see uh, in the application here so you'll notice that in my application i have a number name and position and if we look over in the tricaster here you can see that these are showing up with uh, number name position and the other fields as well so let's say um, this title is going to start with the number of our player uh, maybe we're gonna have a little hyphen in there and then we'll have uh, his name and when you click that uh, and let's put his position down here and so if we close this, you'll see that the title does now show uh, in the upper corner here, that new information. And uh, just to give you a little bit better view here, we'll view the application side by side. And if I select something else and hit send to TriCaster, you'll see the information shows up uh, in the, the title uh, as soon as I click it. So if you have any questions or anything else about the uh, spreadsheet application, please let me know. You can get my email address by clicking on the little green uh, information icon in the corner. This will give you the version number and my email address so that you can contact me. Uh, have fun with the spreadsheet application.